Alright. Ron Goodall from FightHype.com. I'm here with 6-0. 6 KOs. Yes, sir. Mari Jones, how's it going? It's, everything good, you know. Uh, camp going good. I don't know, I really want to say camp all the time because, you know, it seems like I'm just getting into training camp, but training going good. And, Really good. First and foremost, congratulations on, on your win over in Australia. I know that was a great experience to For have, sure. you know, to train and then go overseas. What was that all like? Uh, that whole experience was, you know, an eye opener. You know, it made me very grateful to, to made, made me very grateful and uh, very appreciative of all the hard work of, uh, I've been putting in. And, um, you know, it just showed me where, where the, the where I can keep going if I work hard. So. Now I know it's a different atmosphere just talking from like your experience. Is it like a little intimidating? Not saying that you you know you're not scared of anything, yeah, but yeah. just like what's the whole experience going over there? Like the whole different fan base walking yeah, through yeah. a whole different room. Does that, that motivate um, you or is it a little different? Uh yeah, see all that like the fan that stuff don't that stuff don't never get to me, you know. I'm gonna I'm do what I do regardless whether whether it's a hundred people against me. 100 people for me or whatever it is the case may be so I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a go in there and do what I do regardless so um, you know when we went over there everybody everybody was acting like they was against us but you know once once we shut them up you know everybody was rooting for us so you know that's how that's how that's how it goes and that's what I heard like it's yeah. just like that experience of going as like the, the guy the overseas guy yeah, now yeah. everyone's probably like wow please come back like, yeah yeah that's how that's how it was you know once you know, Dev kicked it off when he when he when he shut up everybody, and when I got out there, it was it was already they was already cheering for me. So, mm -hmm. you know, it was it was like it was crazy how 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 it was acting how so standoffish it was acting before, and then after after you know the whole thing, everybody was doing for it. So. Would you say Australian fans are genuine real boxing fans because they were able to make that switch? Uh, know, or or I don't know I, I don't know what to call them honestly. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, you can say, you can say, you can say that. Mm -hmm. You can say. And then, then afterwards, you got to go and enjoy yourself. I believe you went out to uh, Dubai. Or yeah, we, yeah. We went, I went to Dubai, and uh, you know, me and the guys went to Dubai, and we, you know, had a ball out there and enjoyed ourselves. You know, and like I said, enjoy the fruits of our labor. Mm -hmm. And that experience, I'm sure that was great as well. Yeah, know, of course. Time. What, what's it like over there? Because you know, not everyone gets to have the opportunity going. Um. You know, it's it's a real, real good experience. It's a lot. It's a lot going on over there. It's a lot of a lot of wealthy people out there, and um, you know, it's it's a Islamic country. You know, I'm Muslim, so you know, it was it was good to get back, go to go to somewhere that's predominantly Muslim, and get to see the people out there. And, you know, go to mosques and see how people act and mm -hmm. the culture and everything. So it was, it was it was a dream come true. That's actually a place that. I dream of going. Uh, yeah. I dreamt of going before I went. So. Yeah, you guys look like you had a ball. Yeah, and now, yeah. now, right after that, you came back in the gym. Yeah, yeah. You and Dev already back in, in training camp. Yeah, you yeah. already got a fight coming up in Sacramento August yeah. 5th. Yeah. We talked a little bit about it. You got some sparring in today. You're looking yeah. great. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm fighting August 5th in Sacramento. It's about an hour away, an hour and a half away from uh, my hometown. I have a lot of fans there. And, uh, Everybody's starting to see that I'm, I'm really the truth. You know, everybody, everybody at home knew, but everybody, you know, more and more people are starting to see I'm really the truth. And I'm gonna keep putting on these good performances and putting on good shows for the for the fans and you know, keep improving. Now I know this is like obviously the cliche line that everyone obviously wants to get everyone you know knocked yeah. out, and of course if you get the knock. Yeah. Do, you, do you one day hope the fight maybe go the distance or get a little bit more? Uh, well. You know, we don't get paid for overtime. Of course, so. of course. So, um, but you're getting everybody out, you know. Yeah. I wonder if you, if you want a little bit more time in the ring. Or? Um, I mean, if they get out of there, they get out of there. I, I don't want nobody in there that's not supposed to be with me. Uh, that's not supposed to be in there with me, so. Um, I don't go in there looking for the knockout, never. But I go in there and fight the smart boxing. And, and we, like I said, these guys don't supposed to belong in there with me. So, when the knockout comes, that's because I was fighting smart, boxing smart, and losing my skills. Are you happy with the fact that you're able to fight so soon back to back? You know, yeah, right yeah, I, yeah. Especially right now, I like fighting back to back like this because it keeps me locked into the gym. It keeps me focused. Um, you know, and it keeps me active. I, I, I like, I love being in the gym. I, I love fighting. So um, when I'm back, fighting back to back like this, it's only, you know, it, it, it keeps me dialed in. Now, I'm not looking past your opponent, but potentially the fact that after this fight. 
you know, it was awesome seeing the fact that you and Devin were on the card together for recently. Sure, for sure. <clears throat> we don't know where, you know, Devin's fight is going to be. Maybe Cambosa's rematch. Yeah. Like, would you go back to Australia? Is that, or do you think that probably won't happen for because sure. of dominant? Uh, you, might, you guys might fight somewhere else. Yeah, if we have to go back, you know, so be it. And I ain't turning down nothing but my collar, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, if we got to go back, we got to go back. I mean, as a fight fan, just talking the fact that you guys want to be so dominant. Do you think oh. that, that, that Cam Bosa uh -huh. should fight Devin and, and these guys should fight you over? And, is, is, is that really, as a boxing fan, would you want to see that again? Or, or, uh, or, or I heard it's easy money, just why not come over there, get some of that? Yeah, I mean, you know? he's taking another trip back to the bank, man, you know, mm. so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's, Dev gonna do what he do, so. And you're gonna do what you're gonna do, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, of course. So. I don't know if Cambosa's got anything that he can he can mess with Dev with, so I don't know what he's gonna do, but I know what we're gonna do, and that's come out victorious once again. So when you, when you were watching that fight though, why like did you did you see like Cambosa's continue to try throughout the rounds, or did you see him kind of look like a defeated fighter because Devin was just Dev just different. dismantled him like mm -hmm. easy. I seen I seen Dev have hardest sparring. Mm. So I mean, Dev like I said, Dev gonna do what he do. Regardless of who in there, he he'll do that to anybody. So, I mean, now I'm sure that in sparring or even fights or amateurs, like you've had rematches or, or you know, yeah, yeah, for sure. how do you like when you approach a person for a second time? Is it easier or is it harder? Do you think what they're gonna do will come, to, or do you think they're gonna change the plan? Like, how do you prepare for them? Um, honestly, me personally, I feel, I feel. If I can beat you one time, I can beat you again. No matter, no matter what you come with, no matter if you try to change your whole style, whatever it is, I already then probably hurt you. I already then you know beat you up, took your confidence away. So I know that if I can beat you once, I can beat you again. So I mean, Dev beat him once, you know he gonna beat him again. Does your approach go into it? Like, do you feel more confident, or do you just stay neutral? Because of, of, of course, I'm more confident, but you don't want to go too overconfident because then you might. You, you might actually, you know, run into some or, you know, underestimate what he's coming, what he's coming with because you also have to remember that he, he's coming with vengeance. So, you know, um, I mean, you go in there with the same mentality as you did the first time, but you just know that that, that thought always in the back of your head is, I already got you one time and, and you're going to try extra hard this time to try to get, to, to try to get back. So, I mean, this is, he's not going to be able to do anything. And then before I let you go, obviously Sacramento, it's going to be a fun time. Yeah, August sure. um, any messages for the fans where they can find you and, and keep um, you locked in? Find me on Instagram at uh, official Amari Jones and, um, you know, just keep tuning in and keep watching me grow and watch me rise all the way to the top, no matter if it's 154 pounds, 160 pounds, 175, 168 pounds. Heavyweight. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I don't know. Man. Yeah, maybe, maybe get that Jake Paul. Or uh, nah, but you know, I'm campaigning 154, 160 right now, and you know, I'm coming up. So. Appreciate it, champ. Yeah, for sure.